The idea of this exhibition, entitled The Power of Multiplication, has to do with the idea of changing um, the world, maybe changing the society, with a tool what is uh, part of mass media production. So if an artist um, produced a woodcut or an engraving 500 years ago, they tried to explore something to the people. It was not for the authority anymore, it was a mix of image and text to tell them something about authority, to tell them something about society or religion. They talked about things they never uh, saw or could reflect before. People in the region of uh, Rio Grande do Sul also made art for the public. They demonstrate that if you have the power in mass media, you can change society, you can direct talk to people. So the discourse always starts with an intelligent way of mass media. We try to find out what people in Germany and, and artists in South Brazil have in common from their approach to do um, products like print. We try to find out in this exhibition the power of multiplication, how it changes also in the world from analog to digital, from woodcut to Xerox, or what happened now in virtual reality, what is really going on on our smartphones, what we um, print out every day, how, how we shoot uh, um, the object reality. It's totally different from the reality 30 years ago because we are now in the digital, digitalized uh, world. And Vera Chavez Barcelos also had a very interesting approach to uh, pop art, for example, when she's using icons like Andy Warhol produced them in a, in a series of colorful silk screens, silk prints. And she's using the copy machine, the Xerox, to produce this endless, yeah, it's a kind of visual invention and the endless reproduction. It's a very anti-authoritarian product, but it is so common, it's so deep into our mentality of using things, of really digesting things, so that it's a very, uh, in my eyes, uh, a kind of humanity, what is going on in this mass media of, of printing. And the other thing she, she, she develops was the engraving of her skin. It's a, a membrane, or what is a metaphor for of this iconic, yeah, mi minimalistic uh, way that she is going so close into her skin or onto her skin that you feel like a landscape, that it's really of, of how to capture something what is uh, in the process of, um, of life, what is developing and is also, yeah, it's a connection from our soul, but of course it has always a, a, con or a relation to the world outside, what we are. And this membrane is very, very thin. It's a, it's a very um, fragile moment. And of course you see people and you see more and more people running into schizophrenia or into, uh, they have problems, disease in a way. The membrane, what Vera is really focusing on, is, is so thin at the moment that we can't protect ourselves from the things going into our consciousness.